What's going on guys? It's Mr. DEBT Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group and here's some cryptocurrency news you should pay attention to today. Um, I'm just getting back from Jamaica on a vacation for a few days and as I came back in town, of course I was getting a lot of messages, a lot of calls, a lot of emails asking why is the market so down? Like what's happening and why are people panic selling? What's going on? Well, what's going on if you haven't heard or haven't been doing your research is that South Korea, which was one of the biggest players in terms of markets in cryptocurrency, is calling for a possible, the government's calling for a possible ban, but definitely calling for regulation on cryptocurrency trading and cryptocurrency exchanges. And we've been talking about this, if you see my past videos for the past few months, saying that, you know, regulation is coming. And even though South Korea may be one of the first governments to seriously usher in regulation, Understand that it is something that's going to spread world, you know, worldwide and throughout all the countries that I believe are trading in cryptocurrency. There's going to be some taxes. There's going to be regulation. This was always going to come. However, to believe that South Korea is going to ban exchanges, I don't think that's going to happen because right now at this point, I believe that crypto is tied into their government and to their uh, economy in terms of the uh, net worth of their citizens. So don't get me wrong. I, I, I can see it being a possibility but do i think it's going to happen as in the banning no now because of these rumors a lot of people that have been holding their money for a long time are selling it's not even a lot of people that just jumped in the market a lot of people that have had their money in the market for years are saying okay based on this news i'm going to go ahead and sell and just take my money go to the bank and before regulation and taxes come on a serious level I'll be able to take as much profits as I can because right now, even if you have a policy which is in place in the United States where it says you should pay taxes on these profits, it's hard to prove that your profits are profits because it goes through a certain trail. So just because you withdraw money, it doesn't mean that that was profits. That could have been the money that you put in and it could have been over time. It could have been over the past three years you put in that money and you took it out. So it's hard to prove that you're actually taking profits versus just taking your money or taking some losses and taking your money back. But nevertheless, as I'm saying, the market is reacting to that. Because of that, we're seeing prices go down and values go down. And people are wondering, well, should I sell? I'm losing money. Remember this. You do not lose money if you do not sell. If you hold and wait it out, you'll actually see a return more than likely on your money. So the key here is don't look for a quick flip right now. Again, don't try to be a day trader. If you're losing money, you haven't lost money until you actually pull the money out. Think about that for a while. You can't lose money that you don't pull out. And this is what's happening. Don't panic and sell if you don't want to lose money. And do that out of fear, especially for those who only invest in them. $100, $200. I mean, unless you're putting in $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, I can understand in that case because that's a big investment uh, for a lot of people. But if you're putting in a few hundred, you're putting in $20, $30, if, what are you really risking? I mean, you're not risking your livelihood. So just let it ride. See what happens. I know I have and I've done well because of that. But this also goes back to the point also where I say you should always take some of your profits out periodically and use it as real money. Profits are not profits until you use them. I said so when I spoke about the vacation I took in Jamaica and I said it was funded, the flights were funded by my gains in crypto. I could have held and if I would have held that today, those gains would have been diminished. But by me taking it out and taking advantage of the profits, I was able to use it as real money. So that's something that you should consider when the market's back up again is don't rush to take your money, but also take some of your profits as an insurance policy and just to know that you did win and actually use some of that money. Again, going back to South Korea, uh, we could hear a decision within the next few weeks, maybe in the next few days, but I'm expecting that they will not ban cryptocurrency or shut down cryptocurrency exchanges. However, they will uh, hinder a lot of them with the regulations that will come. And I believe this is a test for the entire market. I believe once this is a good example of what we're going to see more widespread once we actually see regulation uh, take place throughout the world. So right now, South Korea is the testing pot. That's why uh, you're seeing people react a certain way and you're seeing regulations come out. But then at the same time, everything's happening kind of slow. Everything's being put out through the media in terms of information to see how the market reacts. But nothing is actually being done yet. So the reaction is what 
the regulators and I would say people that control crypto and government are paying attention to. They want to see how far down, how bad will it be based on a major market announcing that possibly there will be more regulations and that some of the exchanges could be shut down. And this is what we're seeing. And honestly, if you look at the impact, it's not as big as you would expect. Yes, we have dropped some thousands in Bitcoin. Yes, some of your coins have lost 15, 20 percent. But honestly, over, la over the last year, it's gained over a thousand plus percent. So essentially, if you're just getting in, I understand where you're kind of like, uh, but if you didn't just get in and you've been in, you know, you're still up. And if here's the other part, if you are just getting in and you got in at a high price, you can buy in now at a lower price. So you can actually get some of the uh, prices that were available on some of these coins last year today because it won't stay that way. This is a temporary situation. And at the end of the day, I would say don't panic. Don't worry. Do pay attention because you can learn from this and understand that if regulations come out in the United States more heavily and these exchanges are regulated, which they will be in the U.S. and U.K. and Australia and Canada more heavily, you're going to see a similar reaction, but not exactly the same reaction because they've already seen it. People have already seen it done. They know that it can be survived. And that's what South Korea is about. It's actually about showing that it can be uh, survived and people can hold on despite regulations and the market can flourish. South Korea is the testing ground. Don't get fooled by the testing ground. All right, guys, you have a good one. I'll give you another video tomorrow. I'm back. I'll make sure to give you updates. Leave any questions you have in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Y'all have a great one.